Hello and welcome. This is Brandon from Techie Dad. This month we've got our first ever Alien 3D box. Uh, it's a subscription service to be able to get sample filaments and other little goodies. Um, and the biggest thing that I love about it is it also comes with projects. Um, so this is going to be our first unboxing for the year. Conveniently, right at the beginning of the year. And so I figured nothing better to do than let's go ahead and dive into the box and see what this month holds. So they've been kind enough to uh, put this nice little pamphlet in here. It's got all the information about what's in the box itself, all the different filaments. Uh, it has the project information on the back. Uh, I don't want to get too close on the, uh, the tag of what the project is because you kind of need to get your own box to be able to do it. But they do include that in here, which is good information to always have. Uh, looks like they got a couple of stickers. Um, Micro Swiss is one of the nice hot end pieces, so we'll have to see who that what that comes with. A um, Don't Worry I'm a Pro from Pro Select Filament. As always, much appreciated. Country Club sticker. It's got a coupon code um, for 15% off at Micro Swiss. That's always good to have. The Alien 3D group and a specific Alien 3D sticker. Now that Alien 3D group piece uh, does have information and some discount information for um, ordering the 3D group that I've heard a lot of great things about. Um, I actually would love to be able to get my hands on some because I've heard nothing but awesome stuff. So, first filament out of the box is Fiberology Onyx Easy PLA, uh, extrusion temp 200 to 220, bed is optional at 0 to 50, um, and this is a nice, it may be hard to pick up, but it is black with some nice like glitter flakes in it, that's always really nice. We have yellow high heat grade PLA, uh, extrusion 190 to 230, bed temp optional again, 0 to 70, uh, and actually has anneal temperatures of 80 to 130. So essentially, you could put this um, printed object into oven at lower temperature and make it a little bit stronger um, than just normal PLA. Uh, and this is from US Monofilaments. It's got a nice, nice deep color, as you can see. Nice yellow. And it looks like part of the project, so we will try to scoop these aside for a minute. And get back to that. Our third filament is 3D Prints Crystal Green PLA. Uh, extrusion temp 190 to 220, bed optional 0 to 60C. It's a nice, nice, like translucent seafoam kind of green. Beautiful. Love the uh, love the vacuum seal on that. That one in the yellow had a really, really good seal. And it looks like we got another one from Fiber One, or excuse me, Filament One. PLA Pro Select Glint Silver, uh, 195C to 225. The bed sticker got a little covered, but it is 40 to 60. So you will need at least a heated bed um, to get good adhesion, unless you had some other um, glue or something else uh, like 3D glue, um, <laughs> anything that would hold it really well. Um, it's got a nice, nice, good seal on that, and it looks. Like this one's got little flakes of uh, like glitterish type pieces in the in the filament. That's really beautiful silver as well. Can't wait to print with that. Uh, another one from Filament One is a PLA Pro Select Navy Blue that's been unreleased to the public. It looks like uh, extrusion 195 to 225. Bed is also needed on this one at 40 to 60 C. Um, so again, you will need some kind of adhesive if you don't have a heated bed. 
but that is a gorgeous navy blue color. It's funny, some of the, the lights here make it almost look like a, a purplish hue right now, but it, it is uh, got a nice deep royal blue play, color. All right, and this is from Strong Hero 3D. It's a translucent yellow PETG, which this will be the first yellow color of a PETG. I only have white, black, and a clear, so having this yellow will definitely be nice. Um, it's extrusion 230 to 250, uh, bed temp 80 to 100. A little bit higher than I normally print uh, Pet G, but hey, you know, this is their recommended temp, so they might as well, but. That is a uh, very transparent yellow. So that'd be kind of nice to, to come in. And are you kidding me? That's awesome. Okay, so I was saying earlier that I kind of wanted some 3D bloop and it looks like I actually got some. It's the 750 mil, all right. This is I'm going to take the size on here. So I've heard this is the retail like package size. Uh, I'm not seeing it in this angle that I can... But there is the MSD, MSDS label in it. So that's always good. And they've got some more information about it on their website as well. So, I mean, it is harmful to kind of breathe in. Um, that you should take with all kinds of real glues. Um, so just use caution with it. Um, I'm actually really excited to be able to test this out. I know you can smooth prints with it, PLA prints, so I want to test that out. I definitely know you can glue it, so I've got some stuff that I need to glue, so that'd be awesome. Um, I don't really have so much of an, a bed adhesion issue with the ultra bases that I have. Um, that are working for me. I know some people haven't been quite so lucky, but so far they work for me, so I guess we'll have to see. Um, but if nothing else, you can use it for bed adhesion, so like these other ones that kind of needed a little bit of extra, that, that wouldn't be too bad to test out. And it looks like for Micro Swiss, they give us a hardened steel nozzle. Probably that's focusing in, right? 0.4. It's an M6 thread, so that'll fit most every print head that I've got. I've got a couple of clones and a couple of factory ones uh, on the various machines, but they all take that M6 thread, so that is outstanding to have a, a hardened nozzle. Most of all I have is brass. So it looks like uh, upon reading this month is, what is this project? Apologize for that. So the project is... A filament. No. Let's see, it's a humidity and temperature device that you could use to help do your filament storage to to get it. That's pretty awesome. So looks like we've got breadboard that comes with it. A LCD screen. There it goes. All right, I'm going to turn it over. So, QA Pass version screen. That's pretty nice. It will do good with this project. Uh, sealed in the bag is the temperature sensor. A little hard to see. And this is the Arduino. Nano. I have to look it up just to make sure, but yeah. Nice little, come on, focus. There. Arduino Nano programmer, if I remember right. Always nice to have the USB cable. Though that is interesting that this one, oh, come on, focus. Yeah, it uses the, not the mini. What, is this a mini? Yeah, it's not the micro, it's the mini. It's not a lot of devices that seem to have that one, but hey, got a specific cable and we got the extra 
male wiring tips so to go into the breadboard to hook all this up so that is pretty awesome and for details on this project um, we're gonna do a separate build video uh, on my son's new channel Techie Kid uh, so look for that I'll provide links in the description below on how to get to that channel and check out the new video on the build and we'll see what kind of case he wants to come up if he wants to use any of the new colors for this project or his own but yeah stay tuned to that and we look forward to the next box next month as well and thank you for joining hope you uh... this has helped i mean i'm looking forward to the next month's box already uh... this is a lot of fun so Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you soon.